Hey, 42 here. Video games are now the biggest entertainment industry in the world. $47 billion worth of video games were sold worldwide in 2014. That's more than both the music and film industries. And teenagers are now more addicted to video games than ever before. A staggering 94% of teenage girls and 99% of teenage boys play video games on a regular basis. With so many modern games requiring fast reaction times and lightning quick reflexes, does playing video games actually have any real and lasting effects on our reaction times in day to day life? Let's find out. Most contemporary video games such as Call of Duty, Halo, Grand Theft Auto and hundreds more require extremely fast processing of sensory information to play. In this respect, they push the limits of how fast a human brain can process information and make decisions based on that information. Video games force our brains to think and respond faster than is needed in typical everyday life. This is compounded by the fact that most video games offer incentives for players to react even faster to situations. In most games, faster reactions lead to rewards such as increased kills and faster lap times to name but a few examples. Now they say, practice makes perfect, and it's undeniably true. When we do anything in life, electrical impulses are sent between the neurons in our brain. And the more we do that thing, the stronger the link becomes between those neurons and the faster they can communicate, which subsequently speeds up the rate at which we perform the task. This is exactly how practice improves performance. Practice actually alters the physical structure of our brain cells to quicken the flow of information. So if that logic is true with everything else we do in life, shouldn't it be the same for video games? Should it not be the case that the more we play fast paced video games, the faster our reaction time should be in everyday tasks? Well yes, just like with everything else we do. Playing video games does indeed strengthen the links between the neurons and our brains that are related to processing and reacting to information. This was proved to be true by a recent study by the Department of Brain and Cognitive Science at the University of Rochester. The researchers took dozens of 18 to 25 year olds who were not ordinarily video game players. God knows how they found these peculiar teenagers that don't play video games. They then split the subjects into two groups. One group played 50 hours of two particularly fast paced games, Unreal Tournament and Call of Duty 2. The other group played 50 hours of the significantly slower simulation game The Sims 2. Afterwards, both teams were asked to complete several tasks that were designed to test their reaction and cognitive thinking skills. For example, the participants were asked to look at a screen that showed a bunch of erratically moving dots, moving left and right across the screen. The participants were then tested on how quickly they could answer a simple question. Are the dots moving left or right? They also underwent auditory reaction tests to analyse how quickly both teams reacted to sound as well as visual information. And the result? Well, the team that played the fast moving action games were a whole 25% faster at answering the questions and completing the tests than the other team, who had spent the morning building virtual houses with pretty white picket fences. But the action games didn't just improve their reaction times. The researchers found that they also answered the questions more accurately than the other team. The research team concluded that players of fast paced video games would prove to be much better at critical real life situations that require fast reactions and quick thinking, such as performing surgery or being on a battlefield, and I do mean a real battlefield, not one made of pixels. Reacting to a situation is all about how fast we can come to a decision about the challenge we have been presented with. Our brain does this by rapidly gathering information from our surroundings, both visual and auditory. It then puts this information together and computes the best possible way to react. For example, when driving, if a car pulls out in front of you from a junction without warning, your brain rapidly makes a decision based on how fast you are traveling in relation to the other car, as well as other factors, to determine whether or not you should slam on the brakes. All this information is passed between neurons in our brain, 
in just a few milliseconds. However, people who regularly play video games and therefore have strengthened the connections between those neurons, those connections are called axons by the way, would be able to process this information significantly faster and make the same decision in a fraction of the time as a non-video game player, potentially saving lives in some situations. So when your parents ask you why you spend so much time playing video games, simply tell them you're practicing for a life or death situation. Thanks for the view, subscribe for more 40 Chick.